Let's, im let's imagine that we've been hired uh, by this great artist. Uh, this artist, you know, is, would make this beautiful, beautiful uh, tapestry. And we're hired to do a small part of weaving that, that tapestry. And of course, for us, we, we don't see the, 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 the whole thing, right? We just see the small part that we are asked uh, to do. And, um, and sometimes you question if what we're doing is really contributing to the beauty of the whole uh, tapestry. And, you know, St. Catherine Drexel said this, peacefully do at each moment what at that moment ought to be done. If we do what each moment requires, we will eventually complete God's plan, whatever it is. We can trust God to take care of the master plan when we take care of the details. And that's what we're all called to do. We're all has a part in weaving this, you know, this tapestry. We might not see the whole picture, but we all have a part in doing it. Maybe some has a bigger part, some has a smaller part. We don't know, right? But we all have to do our part. Okay? Just like uh, in our first reading today, the apostles, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, they were preaching right, in the temple in the name of Jesus, even though they were being persecuted. In our gospel today, we see John the Baptist was following the prompting of the Holy Spirit to baptize Jesus and also prepare the way for Jesus. Mary also played her part, and also St. Joseph. Right? in bringing Jesus uh, to this world. So wh the question that we have to ask ourselves is, what is our part? We all have a part. The question is, are we doing our part? And we, we can't underestimate the, the part that we have to do because if we don't do our part, then this tapestry will not be complete. We all have a part to do. And how do we do this part? I think the, the, the thing that we have to do is really to practice the presence of Jesus, to be aware of his presence, and to be aware of what he is asking us to do. If we're not practicing the presence of Jesus, it's hard for us to be aware, right, of what he's asking us to do. We're so preoccupied of the things that we have to do. We're so caught up with maybe in the past, the regrets of our failures. Maybe we worry so much about the future of what it entails. And then we're not doing the duty of the moment, right? So we need to practice the presence of Jesus and be aware, Lord, what do you want me to do at this present moment and do it? And the more that we do the will of Jesus in our lives, the more that he will be able to give the Holy Spirit to us, right? In our first reading today, it says, And so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. And it says in our gospel today, he gives the Spirit without measure. So if we want to be filled by the Holy Spirit, we need to obey. And the more that we're filled by the Holy Spirit, the more that the Holy Spirit will lead us in doing God's will and give us the power to be able to do God's will so that we'll be able to do our part in this master plan of God, this beautiful tapestry that the Lord is, is, is doing. And that beautiful tapestry is God's plan for salvation.